Yeah. Okay. What it do? We back. I'm so clear. Oh, oh. shit. Oh, she back. Hey. Oh, man. Look, look at the building sounding crisp. Yeah. It's me, bitches. Okay. Oh, okay. Energy. All right. Yeah. Back in style. Energy, eager man. <laughs> <laughs> back in style. Back. Oh, my days. Did you guys miss me? Small, small. Yeah. Okay. I'll ask again. Did you miss me? Even smaller. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fish, yeah. <laughs> Don't fish. No, nah, we did though. Yeah, Thank we, you. We missed the streets, missed you as well, you know. So hi, streets. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Hi, say hi. Wave, yeah. to, wave to the streets. Yeah, the, yeah. the, cuff, the cuff links and the RNA because you not yeah. meant to. I Maybe see it under the more. comments. It's like great episode, but you missed Chrissy. <laughs> well, anytime someone says um, but but <laughs> yeah, everything goes before so, that oh, is invalid. Episode. But that's a good but though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what he said. Oh. Horny, eager, <laughs> anything else? Don't do that, don't do that. I'm just, um, I'm happy to be here. That's a good place to be at, yeah. mind-wise. Yeah. Where are you at spiritually? You happy? You whole? Yeah. 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 Okay. Wonderful, man. You know, last week I, I fucked up. I didn't do an intro properly. I was just See, eager, I, I eager was, beaver. I was just going to let it go. I was going to let it slide. Mad. Like one week, it's falling apart. No, the thing no, is, don't, I, do that. I, don't do that. I said to him, like, yeah. what, you're going to do your intro? And he's like, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, no, we'll get back to it. <laughs> yeah, but shouts out to last week's um, guest, Meet Us After Seven. Yeah, man. Big Man News and, and Just Jean. Yes. Yeah, and they good. join us. Um, so, yeah, check out their, they've got a live show in Jan. Yeah. Um, so, all the information is in their bio and stuff. So I'm up yeah, to 14 press ups now. 14? Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, um, di- well, what diamond? <laughs> I'm white not press lie. ups. I tried a diamond press up. I said no, that's not for me. You don't want the, the tries. You don't want Angela Bassett. You don't. <laughs> you know. You, you don't want Angela Bassett. You, do you want? The, you want the toned shoulders? Um, you want to wear the backless dress? Um, I already wear the backless dress. Let's start there. Okay. And it's well, not do you want to wear enough. it or do you want it to wear you? That's the question. I Mad. Wear the fuck out of that dress. Okay. So what you saying what? <laughs> no, <laughs> just just leave it there. <laughs> Yeah, because obviously sometimes the dress wears you, or you wear the no, dress, you know. Never. Okay. I'm not not you specifically. Okay. Yeah, basically, she's saying I'm not that type of babe. Okay. Yeah. I. You do a lot. Of adver- you do a lot of promo and advertisements on this podcast. Advert- <laughs> pro- <laughs> advertisements. <laughs> and then I'm in my bed sleeping. Yeah, I hear it. Sorry. Phone Missed on DND. Yeah, Miss DND. You wearing jeans today as well? Crazy. Wait, I'm not wearing jeans. It's hurting about yeah, you, bro. Yeah. What now? <laughs> what now? But it's on brand for you. Um, yeah. 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 I have, like, chinos now. I'm not quite at combat. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the era of chinos and, um, boat shoes? Yeah. Or, um... Tobago's. Nah, what, what was them? Tom's. Oh, Tom's. Oh, was, Tom's I was an era. I fucked up a Tom. Buy, buy a pair of Tom's and they'll send... Yeah, and save the world. And pay them. <laughs> yeah. We're using the money to Someone go and fight made. Joseph Coney. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not fighting to be serious again. <laughs> See? See? <laughs> Woo. See? Bro, where's Joseph bro, Cody, bro? bro? I don't know who that is. You don't, what? Know, you don't know who Joseph you, Cody is? You don't remember when the world stopped yeah. to look for Joseph Cody? The warlord. Yeah. It was like Facebook days. There was yeah. this mad trailer about like finding this Don. Yeah. And everyone was like, who, who is this Don? Who's this guy, bro? Was he the fitness guy? Fitness? What? No, We're talking about no. war, bloodshed. First of all. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> That's way funnier than it should be. Like, nah, the wait, fitness wait, dog. How did we get there? He's not a guru. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she thought they were looking for Simeon Panda. <laughs> You're actually a prick. <laughs> hey, can let me finish? Yeah, go on. Okay. Sorry. So I'm going to, before this episode is out, I'm going to find this story that I'm talking about. I'm just going to go to find Joseph Coney. <laughs> oh my I'm God. Find Joseph Coney. There was a fitness guy, like, from the 80s or 90s, yeah. and he just, like, disappeared, and people were trying to find him. Okay. But he was, like, a Mr. Motivator type guy. Was this, is this, has this been, like, a Netflix doc or something you watched recently? No. Okay. That comes at the end of the show. Okay. Um, I'm going to find it, because you lot okay. will not make me feel like I'm mad. No, no, no. no. I just, we, Fair enough. What I'm just saying is, this is hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> it's very funny. I don't know how we got here from Chino's. But I said right. you were looking for Simeon Panda. <laughs> <laughs> In the yeah. jungle. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, we were talking about chinos and then we yeah. moved on to Tom's and when you buy a pair of Tom's, they send like oh, yeah, about go. 10 shoes to yeah. some school in Africa. The impoverished kids in Africa, they didn't ask for them to like promo on their behalf. Like, oh. yeah. Yeah, you're right though. Yeah, it's hilarious, isn't it? So, yeah. 
But we're back. Hashtag off the cuff pod. Come on. A good honest conversation never hurt anyone. Yes. If you're listening for the first week, my name is False Forever. And I'm Mr. Vance. We've got the Chrissy Hive. You already know what to do, baby. Chrissy Hive. The blonde Hi bombshell. She's back, blondie, wearing jeans, got the earrings in. Mm. She's whole spiritually. Yes. You know, she's wearing the hell out of the backless dress. Come on. She's even a, she's even a little bit taller. Yeah. 14 um, press ups for them as well. By next week, might be 16. Mad. More than your MCM. <laughs> Crazy. How many wow. pull-ups can you do? Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, baby steps, baby yeah. steps, baby steps, baby steps, okay. baby steps, baby steps, yeah. That's, I can do them with <laughs> so the, um, like at the, you know, like when you put the resistance band okay. under the foot yeah, yeah. and then you do mm. like an assisted pull-up. Yeah. I can do a few of those. Okay. Yeah. That's right. good, man. Thanks. Listen, we will try, it's, it's that time of year where like everyone's kind of looking towards next year for yeah. like their New Year's resolutions, trying to like cultivate good habits before the New Year starts. Yeah, to be honest, like there's a lot more people in the gym than I would think um, at this time of year. Bro, we've got a peak end of the year, bro. You've got, you you kind of want to get like crazy, crazy in shape now. So that that week of Christmas, yeah. everyone's you can making just do mad you noises want. in the gym. And I'm like, we get it, man. You work out. So you go to the gym? I do go to the gym. That, yeah. was, a, that was a loaded question. I don't like how you're talking to my mate. You've had one week off and you come back invigorated. Mad. Okay. Is it smoke this episode? Yeah, 100%. Wow. You know there will be a point now. At some point, we have to draw a line in the sand where we have to like pod cohesively. Mm -hmm. We don't just we don't just come here to like get at each other. Yeah, because the streets of think we don't like love each other. I agree, and, I know, like, and I know you love me. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> 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 Listen, ladies, when a guy says, "Yeah, yeah, of yeah, course," yeah, 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 course, <laughs> course, course, he's lying. Come on, man, you know I fuck with you, man. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah, I got, got, got bare love for you, man. Yeah, I vomit with a blue love heart <laughs> projectile. <laughs> I've got died. mad love for you. Still. That's the ridiculousness of this generation. I can't give you a blue love heart. Uh, what? Why not the red? Because I'm a crip. <laughs> we know the connotations of, of a red heart. It means you. Lo <laughs> you, love you can't even me. say the words. Oh my god! No, that's, that, that's a toxic man, right there. <laughs> like, because because I, I I like you. Love me. Like, yeah. Yeah. Like you. Mm. yeah, man loves you still. Well, my prayer for you guys in 2023. Is that people will not withhold their love from you? Amen. They'll love you out loud. Amen. Oh, They'll express their love prayer. for you. Come on. And same for you, King. Yeah, come on. We're trying to. Um, do you want to fall in love or grow in love? I'm not trying to fall in shit. Okay. I think that sounds yeah, like a broken woman. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> um, growing love sounds nuts. You want to grow um, in love? No, but that also sounds crazy. Like, I don't want you to manage me. Like that's on, that's what. No, this um, isn't. This is a project love. management, bro. Like, no, but when like you say put down the spreadsheets, bro. No, when you like, say growing love, like, <laughs> it's like, oh, I like you, blue love heart, and then like we can graduate to the red. Yeah, yeah, but I think you guys been sold. You think I'm the like the way I look at you at day. I would, I would, I would like this how the way I look at you day one versus day a thousand. I would like it to be better on day a thousand. Okay. Yeah. That's what I mean by growing love. Like, let this thing blossom and blossom and blossom. Okay, yeah. Hey, Before listen, we had the man. Amazon rainforest, they planted one tree. It's true. All Some right of you then. niggas, man, your girl grew to love you still. You know what? We'll take it. We'll take it like that. Yeah. We'll manage it small, small. Yeah. Yeah. She's not really feeling you. It's <laughs> at the start. Who's who? <laughs> anyone, anyone in particular? <laughs> yeah. I was like, let's, who's let, you let's get the What's nonsense out of the way. Yeah. There's a lot of men that are out there like this. And there's a lot of women that are in the same predicament. But as well. I, I believe traditionally, we, it fall happens. In, we fall in love with our eyes, they fall in love with their ears. So it will, it like, Bro, you've got to keep reciting this 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 poems to her, innit? For her to fall in love Not with you, innit? Really. Yeah. Not the poems. <laughs> Poetry niggas. Yeah. I was letting my hate off last week. <laughs> Do you think you're a good person? Yes. Now, Van's an amazing person, but I think you should embrace the hate from time to time. Yeah, man. It's unhealthy to act like your sweetness and like. That you like everything. Love and light. Yeah. That you like everything. And then those people are like, when they do, like, when they're upset or something happens, it hits harder because you're like, oh my God, this person's so lovely. But you've been poking them, or they've not expressed themselves, or they're suppressing that. Let the hate flow, man. No, nah, yeah. don't try me. Let yeah, the hate fly, man. Because I know you got it in you. What? No, but we all got jokes about poetry, niggas. Um, yeah, of course. Yeah. Come on, I open the door, them. close the door. I am so confused. Mm. Them Wale raps at the beginning of Dice Pineapple. Oh, we love that, though, man. Don't do that to I, me. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't love it. It's so long. Get to the song. But I'm trying to get my shit off, bro. This is my USP. This is not here. I'm, and it's, this is for the ladies. There's bare women that there's a lot find of women, that corny. There's a lot of women listening to this that thoroughly enjoy Dice Pineapples. That could have been... They the love the song, yeah, but the beginning... 
That could have been a standalone interlude, right? We didn't need You that. know, before we leave, yeah, find the lyrics I'm gonna The weather her treasure. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the better my effort, the weather her treasure. <laughs> I mean, that slaps, man. Don't do, don't do revisionist history because at the time we all loved Not that shit. Nah, I heard it and I was like, yeah, t- t- get to the Ross bit, man. Yeah. Your bad vibes. Where's Drizzy at? Can we address it? She said your bad vibes. Shout out to Wale, though. Yeah. I like him. Hopefully by next week, like I said, we're back to love. No more hate for poetry, niggas. Shout out to the poetry, man. You don't do what you do. Yeah. It's their USP. Like, everyone has one. There's, yeah. There's babes out there that's like... Oh, I'm not going to talk to him because he doesn't write enough poetry. You know what? Lean into your core audience and your niche. If that's yes. what works for you, he doesn't do it. write enough poetry. You know yeah. that's mad. Yeah. That's going to be someone's gripe. Has anyone wrote a love letter to you, poetry to you? Oh, not poetry, but a love letter. Okay. Did it work? Was this when you was already like there? Was this to kind of woo you? Both. Okay. Let's 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 break down both. Okay. So when you were being wooed, yeah, how did that feel to get the letter? Woo. Can you be serious? That's, that's um, bare maturity. <laughs> <laughs> I, it's just been a hater. Um, I was like, oh, this is cute. It's a pen and paper. Nah. I'm sorry. Relax. Oh, Relax. this is cute. To so my love letter. Who hurt you? Nah, I need to see tears. Yeah, but can you guys actually imagine me crying over a piece of paper? It's not, yes. it's not, a, piece, but it's yes. not a piece of paper, though. No, it's like, oh. That's my heart on the, A4. On, yeah, he wrote that. Yeah. It took time. Like I say, it was cute. You ain't so you. It was new. You enjoyed it. Yeah. Did it do the trick? Were you trying to ask me? No, I'm not asking you that. Like in terms of like wooing you, was he successful? <laughs> did he get to the next stage of wooing? Um, one didn't. One didn't. Okay. Wait, huh? No, because she said. Remember, there was one that was chasing. That was, and then there was one that oh, the letter was oh, whilst right, we were right, together. Right, right, right. I'm with you. I'm with yeah. you. I caught up. Can you like on anniversaries? You know, women usually like they get you the um. A little tub thing, a hundred reasons why I love you. <laughs> These times I wanted to marry. <laughs> yeah, bad guy. Yeah, really bad guy. Yeah, bad guy. Yeah, yeah, reading bad all guy. that shit. <laughs> no, those ones are super sweet, yeah. But it's like it just there's the obviously different people love different innit? Nah, but, like, but like at what point do you get tired? What hundred and one? Is the, by, the the, 50th, by the fiftieth, by the fiftieth reason, I appreciate. Don't do that. I appreciate effort in it, but it's just funny. Like what <laughs> what we look at is like that's wavy for you in it, for you to receive. But I wanted the jeans with the paint splatter. <laughs> 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 nah, <laughs> I'm sorry. The jeans with the paint splatter, yeah, and was something I never went with. Yeah, no, that was that was a, that was a time in it. So that was a, that was an era where. Uniform dressing in it, yeah. That's what they're showing. Man, decorators as well, you know. Don't do that. So, don't do that. Don't tradesmen do that. make a lot of money. Yeah, like, like, tax free. I'm, I'm, I'm not shooting down their job. Okay, okay, cool. I'm Make just sure. saying, isn't it? Like, it sounds like you're being a hater. Because women love Bob the Builder men, apparently. Fam, like, if I could be a decorator, I would. Yeah. You see a man that can build shit. Yeah. Listen, pal- not be building. Are you building and destroying, or just building? Build that shelf, then break my back. What? Yeah. You know, sometimes I forget, like, you know you're with the bro. Chrissy <laughs> Hive. <laughs> no, but, uh, yeah, like... Someone's going to... One of the listeners are going to quote that. Well, build my... What was, the, what was the quote again? Build that shelf, then break my back. Okay. That's what I need. Like, seeing a man with power tools, I'm just like, oh. Yeah. Yeah, I love it. Like... Strong. Yeah. It's a real definition of build and destroy. Well, come on, man. It's got to be done, innit? So, also, if you want listeners, it is... If you want peace over the next couple of weeks, just put on one little shelf, you'll leave you alone. The World Cup's back, man. Listen, man, I give you peace. My peace, I'll give you. Huh? Yeah. It's that season, man. Le- listen, leave your man alone. Football's on. Unless if you're into sport as well, watch it with him. But like... Oh, I love football. Okay. You don't know that. Who are you supporting for the World Cup? Um, My money is on France. Maybe. I think the dark horses in this competition could be USA. <laughs> I'm not convinced, bro. <laughs> I did watch the, the, the USA match. It was nice reading the banter on the timeline as well mm. of how like, because football is like created here. Like there's a, there's that snobbery in it. Like so, Absolutely. With, especially with America. So like all the banter of like how they take football over there Stop and their it. commentary, like <laughs> someone said that um, 
the the crowd, the USA crowd, were, were shouting "You suck" at the ref like he was Kurt Angle. <laughs> 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 they have a lot of theatrics in their sport, innit? So, like, yeah, yeah, yeah um, yeah, they they um they play quite well actually. I agree. They they scored um George Ware's son. Yeah, is that is that not crazy though? It's like your dad was an icon for in his time for his nation as well, and you're playing for America. He was born there, and yeah, he was born there. Um, he was born in Brooklyn. Yeah, his mom his mom's from there, and his mom's okay. Jamaican as well. So he could have represented Jamaica. Got a few options. Yeah, um, Liberia yeah. and um, the United States. But I'm capping because Bear Young is kind of thinking, "What? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, re- I'm representing America." <laughs> yeah, um, it happens. But George Ware's <laughs> George Ware is nuts. His life is nuts. Ain't the, is he? He's still the president of president. Liberia. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Like right. Right. Ballon d'Or winner. Mm. So he hit the heights mm. at his profession. And then now he's the president of his country. Some people just get all like the the <laughs> luck and the, the Infinity places. Stones. Yeah. That's mad. But, I think yeah. um, I was really touched. The Iranian goalkeeper, goalkeeper. Yeah. I just feel like they have, you know, these concussion protocols in place. And I feel like that was a perfect opportunity for them to demonstrate that. And it just feels like the Iranian team mm-hmm. um, weren't really, they didn't have the safety of the players at the forefront. And that really showed, and I was quite disappointed. You're almost killing me. You're watching football from like a HR point. <laughs> <laughs> bro, you can't watch ball like that, bro. If you bang your head, you How is that her head. only analysis bro, of that go- game? No, England banned no. six, you Wait, know. Wait, hold on. We'll get there. Yeah. We'll get there. But I feel like that was really disappointing. Yeah. And I think, you know, especially with all the human rights concerns around this particular World Cup, yeah. you would think that the manager or mm-hmm. the, um, you know, the, the medics are supposed to be impartial, you know? Okay, so cool. I, think, I, think that's I hear what you're saying, but you know, it's on a serious note, that is a thing to look at. So that's a FIFA problem. The, it's, it's a FIFA problem. It is on the, the player is always going to say yes, isn't it? Mm. So what you want to do is take away the power from the player because it's a World Cup, it's a big stage. Yeah. Espe- even any any player, but especially for players that maybe aren't in like the big leagues in Europe, if you play well in a World Cup, yeah, it's an opportunity to get you know, a shot window in it. Mm. So of course I'm going to stay on if I've. If I lost my eye, I'm going to try and play on that. Like. Like, no, that's how players are. It's, 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 a, bi- it's, a, it's a big <laughs> yeah. occasion. So and and you a do lot is... of these players are patriotic as well. So yeah, like in a, in a time like this, they want to like they want to represent their country in the highest level. Of course, yeah. bro. So you let you let you let the medics do it. So I think to what you're saying, that they should definitely do that. Where I don't know if it was might be Alan Shearer. I think was saying that um yeah it was they him. maybe should have like the temporary substitution thing. Yeah. So bring us bring someone on mm. and because you you. Uh, he was off. He was on the field for well. He was getting assistance for like maybe eight minutes. Nine. I don't think that's enough time to assess how truly hurt or not he is. Yeah. Because by the time they did all that, and he came back on, and he eventually lied and I came off. So clearly he wasn't okay in it. So, he wasn't. You could you know. tell. And like, was it Iran that had? I think typically people bring two goalkeepers, and they bought three. I'm not sure. Uh, it, it depends on. Um, nah, there's there's a lot of teams that. Um, May bring free. It just depends on like your selection process. But they yeah. had the goalkeepers, and they were just like. But then also the Iranian coach, when the substitute goalkeeper came on, yeah. the Iranian coach was, like, oh, this nigga. No, no, because what it is is you, is you you don't traditionally substitute goalkeepers, and that's a wasted sub, isn't it? Goalkeepers don't usually come off. Yeah, because like players come off maybe for playing bad, obviously injuries, but in terms of in terms of like and running around, running around, yeah, like in terms if, of who's going to get subs off the pitch, it's it, goalkeepers are. At the bottom of the path. But if the if the player yeah. has a concussion, yeah. that doesn't count as a substitution. You get a free substitution. So it was never going to matter. Are you talking about them wanting to implement new rules? Or was no, this in, it's a thing. If you if you educate me on the rules of football, then I'll take it. Yeah. But I don't know that to be a thing. Yeah. I, I didn't know that. And to right be a now, thing I'm doing mansplaining. I feel like I'm, you're wrong. I'm, no, I'm, pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty confident. Uh, but I'm pretty confident. Okay, cool. We'll, okay. we'll go with it. Yeah. Yeah, man. We'll go with it. Yeah. But if you're wrong... Until that's then. where you go, that's where you go wrong, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, well, football. yeah. I mean, at the moment, the country's buzzing. Obviously, um, England, yeah. England, England. You know, is, it was expected for them to beat Iran um, in that respect. fashion. Just not in that fashion, possibly. But like with the amount of quality in the side, mm. that should be expected. Yeah, that should be expected. It's just that historically, like England <laughs> don't necessarily win in like style like yeah. just it just 
just in um, how you would think they would with the crop of players that they have. Yeah, that was nice to see them getting the goals. Like Saka get the goals, Rashford score. Jude Bellingham. Um, Jude Bellingham. Grealish got a goal and then somehow, some way, he's the face of all the, all the news clippings, all the stuff from, I think, the Mail, BBC Sport. All right, yeah. all yeah. right. Now, I do give him a little blood just because um, he did a celebration for the young guy that had cerebral palsy, innit? Yeah. Okay. That's that's the only thing in it. But in terms of you were a substitute, you came on for like the last what 15, 20 minutes of the game, if I'm right. Mm. Bro, these other guys Saka scored two in it. So I thought it would have been um Bellingham um in the front pages youngest. just because he's the the he's the second um second youngest youngest yeah. to score in the World Cup. Yeah. Why are you why why are you You ready? Go on. International teams are permitted one additional permanent concussion substitution, APCS, yeah. that can only be used once a player suffers a head injury. This does not impact on the five allowed substitutions that teams can make during the field of play. So, Vans, just when... Like, from the FIFA handbook. When you're doing, like, the editing, this is the bit you take out. Absolutely not. <laughs> you not try me. No, but you said that, like, you know, she was watching it from a HR perspective, so, so yeah, it's yeah, only yeah. right, you know. How you watch football right. with a pen and pad? That's, <laughs> cra- that's crazy. You're a prick. Pen, pad and Man, I'm doing e-learning, you know. Oh, my God, you're taking notes. <laughs> Some person can't, like, kill it with the MCM again. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, oh. I, hear, I hear, you know. Do what you need to do, it. Yeah. So, um... But yeah, no, aside from obviously England won, wonderful. It's the first game. Everyone's on a high. I'm obviously going to be, I feel like we're going to be on the other end where like it's tears when it's a quarter final, semi final, because they're not getting further than that, in my opinion. Right. So what I really want to get to is the talking points around politics and football. Right. Because that was a big thing with regards to this tournament. Um, so Qatar, we've all seen the um, FIFA documentary on Netflix in a minute. Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. so Bro, they spent, I'm going to say the Rex has spent... Rex on Rex on They spent Rex. peas to get this tournament in. So when you spend bread like that, unfortunately or fortunately, you have a lot of power and sway and say so, in it. So everyone's talking about the human rights issues, the immigrants, workers that lost their lives, um, homophobia in the country. So I don't know if you saw that the um, players were meant to wear this one love armband, didn't mm. it? Cool. As a way of kind of protesting against... Uh, Mm-hmm. And so, and just so showing support for the LGBTQ plus community in it, but then FIFA turned around and said, you know, like if you wear this band, you may get carded in it. Now, if I was a gay, yeah, I would be upset that like you made such a swift U turn because you said you were going to back the beef, and all it took was for them to say you might get your carded. So it shows that maybe you're not, in my opinion, as in support of this thing as as you claim to be or you're showing to be, right. Because if you're, I get why nations would maybe say, you know, we're not wearing an armband because your captain is usually one of your better players. If they're on yellow card now, and let's say they're centre back, that's a tough game for them because I'm just, I'm just getting nippy players running in behind. If that's your striker, other centre backs are going to be trying to like, you know, rile him up during the game, knee in the elbow in the back, just trying to get reaction and you could get sent off. Cool. But that's all it took for you to go, guys, you know what? Maybe we're not. Maybe we're not that gay. <laughs> like that's, oh that's, 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 all it, that's, that's all it took. Yeah. That's all it took. Maybe we're not that gay. Maybe we're not that gay. I'm, I'm, I don't know, man. I think um, the England team itself and the English media, there's yeah. a bit of a disconnect. So yeah. they're not always gonna be on the same page. Of if course, that makes yeah. sense. Um, so I think if you look at who the captain is um, for England. Mm. Harry Kane, he's going to be a person that just falls in line with the, you know, with the you rules. Think so? You think so? That's, that's just my take. Yeah. Um, And, you know, like, it, it, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have expected him to come out and, you know, make a statement that is opposing to, or like for him to stand his ground towards. I don't think it was his call to are. make either way. It's not, but I like, don't think it's his call to make whether he wore the armband or he didn't. But you're just wearing it to tell you there's, and there's, say, don't wear, you're not wearing it. No, but at, at the same time, I think like, especially in nowadays, like there's a certain responsibility for a captain, for someone, for, for a nation as high profile yeah. as, as England, they go kind of hand in hand with the manager. They have that discussion of what, to you know, fair, like fair, there's fair. an influence on like if if a if a strong solid captain was to go into the manager's office and yeah. and share his views, mm. there's influence in the decision that Gareth will make 
and fair, yeah. and and you know speak to the other staff members that would release certain statements. So like the, the whole they're not going to do it because they wanted to avoid a yellow card. You weren't going to get a second yellow. What for? Like mm. just take the risk. No, but you're but saying it's a, it's that a though. Risky like risk you play, you play football, you watch football. You you don't want to start on a yellow card, and for that in it. And people and, and, it's, well and it's a world card. Emotions are high. Like okay, cool. Um, Virgil Van Dijk, captain for Holland. I'm guessing. Yeah. You don't want to start the game on a yellow card and centre back. Yeah, but do you know what? Like I think, um, especially, it, I don't know. It's it's a it's a different. I do watch football, and yeah. it's a different time in football as well, where like. You know, they try to say, they always say when when it's um, something to do with race, yeah. there's a lot of people that say, oh, yeah, you know, like, we shouldn't mix politics and politics football. And football yeah. But but now it's it's like Possible. players are just making um, or having voices more than ever. Absolutely, do you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, um, Rashford, uh, a massive example of that. Yeah. Um, they're tying themselves in, in certain areas where they feel like, they can be a huge voice. They care about the cause and they can be a huge voice to the cause. Yeah. And they can have people on their side in that way. Mm -hmm. So I don't know. It could just be another tactic that they could use um, to get more people behind them with but the inclusion and, that risk soli and solidarity. And get get red carded in support of gay rights. Yeah, it's true. Um, especially like on the world stage, like you may never play a World Cup ever again. And with the culture of football and and um, you know the 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 homophobia still in football. Yeah, because like there have been a, a few players that have come out in recent years, but they haven't been high profile. Bro, you, bro, you know this already, bro. Like you need a high profile gay, you need a high profile black, you need a high profile woman. Don't remember? I do, have you ever seen the? I think it's an award ceremony. Um, ASAP Rocky standing next to. There's a basketball player that came out. I think I, I don't know when I don't want to say incredibly it's Jason Williams, but like he's. I think he was talking about like being accept, accepting of different communities, and he was like, "Yeah, colors, creeds." <laughs> he did this. <laughs> <laughs> man but, did a dance move, but you it, know. it didn't. It didn't push through enough because my man wasn't a baller. Yeah, like if you have okay. someone that's one of the top players come out as gay. Then it might have more of an impact. If like, uh, you can't be in League Two and say I'm gay, bro. Yeah, yeah. bro we, yeah. didn't even know, we didn't even know he's a footballer. <laughs> like, that's how some people look at him. Yeah, even though you're a professional footballer. Okay, some like, people be like, okay, we don't know you, and it's bad. But it's like movements need. All right, cool. Brazy, brazy segue, but um, Rosa Parks saying um, I'm not going to get up. A week prior, there was a teenager who was pregnant, okay, yeah. and it happened. Yeah, oh, fair she's, enough. Pregnant, unmarried. Pregnant. Can't see. She can't be the face of this movement. We can't back put, back we then can't, as well. We can't put this racial franchise on her back. Yeah. So we need conservative you older need a woman. Good victim. You know, humble, meek. It's good for PR, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So that's what that's what this thing. Unfortunately, Bro, couple, it's, it's part of the game. It's a PR. couple of months ago, there was um, a news story. Yeah, let me check this out. Court, yeah. And it was like, oh yeah, this is the the first professional footballer to come out as gay and i was like okay <laughs> like i wonder who it is it was a player in the premier league in australia bro <laughs> everybody's gayness matters fam i didn't know they had a league this is what i'm saying they have a whole a premier well, i didn't know they had a premier league. yeah it's true they, it's like but then people like, like um oh, there's a couple of players that like end up out there like uh, tim cahill and them dons but they're from there though isn't it? <laughs> oh yeah no <laughs> storage did go out there yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? But like I didn't like it's not high profile enough is what I'm getting at. Do you know what I'm saying? Like obviously yeah. um that may have sounded like mad in it, but <laughs> 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 but I, the, the point is is that like you're not you're not prominent enough yeah. for it to have like that level of impact because like when they were interviewing the Don, he had dreams of coming to the Premier League. That's where you know like a lot of the world watches teams in a Premier League, like in Europe. Basically, like if it was one of the the best players in Europe to come out, then maybe okay. it will have some sort of form of influence because um, like we've got footballers like um, that just have mad influence yeah. on anything. Yeah. Bro, look, the, the women were clowning us the other day, like that Messi and Ronaldo picture for Louis Vuitton. That's only because <laughs> of the gender wars online. So when like a Molly May pick lands, but all the guys getting them, or like when like something little Dirk in India, we get onto them in it. So yeah, but now what when I'm they saying, see us having too much fun, 
They want to come and support the parade. Are, but what I'm saying is that these are players with like immense amount of influence and they're footballers. Yeah, of course. Do you know what I'm course, saying? Like everyone just follows their every move in whatever yeah. they're doing. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so, um, I don't know, man. How do, I mean, how do you feel about politics and football mixing? So, because I feel like this is probably, there's definitely been games before and whether it's Olympics or World Cup where it's been used as propaganda for certain nations. So like the Hitler games back in the day or I'm trying to think what other examples would be. Just like, sport, they call like sports watching where like something's happened politically in a country bad, but yeah. they want to use this um, as a way of like masking what's going on. The same people that are screaming about the World Cup not, um, the World Cup shouldn't be in Qatar. Yeah. Three quarters of them have been to Dubai. You know, like they have the same rules across yeah. the whole Emirates. So you didn't care. I need to go Burj Khalif, innit? That's what I'm saying. You didn't care then. So why yeah. do you care now? Shut up and sit down. Mm. Yeah. I mean, because like um, Qatar um, is probably like, as a, as a tourist destination, it's probably like one of the most um, least recognized yeah, out yeah, of yeah. like, you know, D- Dubai is just the, the center yeah. point. Of course, Everyone yeah. goes there. Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's it's almost like, um, it's the promised land <laughs> to some people. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like so, um, <laughs> the decision was made that it was going to be there 12 years ago. At the end of the day, do you know what I'm saying? They like spent billions, bro. They have. The African and leaders took 1.5 mil and for their for their pockets. And France said, you know what? You have to buy PSG. You got to buy buy fighter jets. Yeah. Ah. Like, it's and crazy. and yeah, like it, just watching that doc alone, like you can just see um, how crude it was. Yeah. How, how um, ruthless it could be. Yeah. They're fucking each other over, bro. Like, these are men that, you know, have 20 tw- year relationships. Do you know what I'm saying? But, but to get to the top, you, you it's like. A, if you put a figure on it, yeah. people will, like, will throw in it. So, do you feel like, well, I want to ask some questions. So, when you spend that amount of money, can you almost rewrite the rules or make everyone yeah. bend the knee and say, you know what, regardless how you feel politically, socially, religiously, you have to firm it for these two weeks? Yep. Because what are you gonna do? And yeah, like, and and you got just you got to think about um, think everything is a business. What about so the gay people from there or people that are going there and are gay? And the thing is, is that like, I mean, at the end of the day, like these are their rules, bro. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, there's not much that we can say to that. Yes, we can um, kick up a fuss all that we can. They're just sitting there. Just looking at us, being mad. Like, That's oh. crazy. Mm. It's a power play for them. Like, yeah. it's not for validation or anything. Mm. Maybe they're trying to grow that industry over there. No, they are. They are. They definitely are. Do you know what I'm saying? But, like, it's not like, Rob, we don't need you. This is a power play from us. This is it. The thing is, they do. Bo- both parties do need. So, when you spend a amount of money, they FIFA and the football world body and that, they need it. They also need it from a point of... They needed Maybe it for, for um, obviously a, a greater gain, yeah. but yeah. like it's it, uh, it's not an act of desperation for them, is what I'm saying. Like okay, they are, they are they've they've had it they've had it in their country whilst the rest of the world is kicking up a fuss. Yeah, like <laughs> and what's funny is it's only because of American ego exceptionalism. It's because they lost the bid. They're like, there's no way these brown guys in the desert they had beat us. Bill in Clinton there. They were saying that, yeah, we've got this in a bag. Yeah. They've got the Donny there. They even had, um, was it, Bill, did not have um, Barack at the time as well? No, he um, he was in, at the White House speaking about it. Okay, that's what it was, yeah. yeah. But so. it, 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 it got to the hands of like, you know, presidents because like every country wants yeah. their country to, to, to host look or their how, continent. Look, look how East London changed when we had the games. Bro, like they, everyone wants their nation to host yeah. a massive tournament like one of the, the the highest grossing tournaments in the world yeah do you know what i'm saying like so um yeah it's 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 funny to watch do you know what i'm saying what was I, even more hilarious for me was so harry kane didn't wear the armband and then alex scott who's gay she was a pundit she used to play football for she was the one that was getting cooked she wore the armband on the touchline now for me yeah i've never known someone to wear captain's armband when they're <laughs> not even playing <laughs> I They're doing know. punditry. Only John Terry. Yeah, yeah, he wore shin pads he says, and that. To, full, to go and full, take out the kit. full kit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's a full kit wanker. John Terry. <laughs> he wore the full kit. For me, okay, cool. So I can understand her position because she's part of that community, innit? So, but you also still went there, participate. That, that's the conversation I kind of want to have. Do you 
scream from outside the club or do you go in the club and protest? Like how, how do you how do you maneuver? You're angry, but you're pumping thousands and probably on a corporate level, hundreds of thousands of pounds into their economy. So even if it's just this one person, yeah, whether it's directly or indirectly, someone's bought airfare. Whether it's directly or indirectly, you're putting money into their hotels. Yeah. You're buying food out there. You're using their Wi-Fi. And then you're cussing. They're just <laughs> looking at you like, move, bitch. Fam, and do you know you're what stupid. it is, yeah? Um, money's going to mean the most to yeah. the majority. Yeah. So even though she That's may feel... That's why morals are a bit skewed then. Yeah. Um, bro, like, everyone is a hypocrite, bro. Hypocrite. Uh, everyone's a hypocrite. Because Gary Neville was talking all that talk, then he went and work, said he's work, he went to work for B in sports and was saying, like, we should talk, we should say this, but you're not saying it. He was very vocal prior, but when the when the bag landed... Yeah, shut up. You went over there. This, is, a, this is the bag, Yeah. yeah. If you're going to walk, walk. Yeah. If you're going to take it, shut up. Okay. In, <clears throat> in situations like this, I just think, how far are you actually willing to go? Because if you are so disgusted by the practices in the Middle East, fine. Absolutely fine. Boycott, boycott the World Cup, fine. Yeah. So are you going to go to the extent of making sure that you don't buy any fashion from Middle Eastern designers or anyone based out there? Mm. Are you going to make sure that you don't use any companies or businesses that are associated or that are registered? And how far are you going to go? Basically? How far are you going to go? Because it's like you're willing to die on this hill, but how far up the hill are you actually willing to go? Because you're just if you're just screaming from the middle somewhere, mm. like, how, how much do you really care? Yeah, I mean, like, I think initially as well, like, there was a lot of people that were against this because of pure footballing reasons the fact that it's not a prominent footballing nation no one knows about football there um but people like figo and xavi can tell you <laughs> they pay handsomely it's where <laughs> look how it's, it's where they it's, call it, they're calling me handsome it's 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 where um it's another place where retired players can go yeah and earn a nice but just to play, like, just to boost their profiles. Do you mm. know what I mean? But at the same time, it's like, rah, no one's really heard of Qatar as a place where people play football. And the fact that it's disrupting um, something like the Premier League, for example, like their first ever winter break, um, slap bang in the middle of the season, like where a lot of players are at more risk of injuries. Yeah. Like there's yeah. a lot of high profile um, injuries at this particular world cup yeah so and then the the world cup final is on the 21st of december and then the 26th of december the premier league's back so like for footballing reasons rah you're not really giving players that much time to blah 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 do mm. you know what i'm saying like and but you know i think it's just interesting seeing the conversation around it like the it's almost laughable there's a bit of a farce with regards to it so <laughs> on one side with regards to the conversation about human rights um homophobia some people are saying people are a bit more on them as well from an islamophobic point of view as well mm. like absolutely a lot of people in that a lot of people are talking about that the nations they're from they don't have the best records <laughs> in regards you to go and be openly gay in russia go yeah. on go on mm. so that's why it's interesting but just watching as much as they spent all this bread yeah some of the accommodation is laughable. Oh, it looks like the fire fest. Yeah, <laughs> looks like the fire fest co- accommodation. Where's Jar? Where is Jar, bro? Because yeah. I'm like, what's going on here? Fuck. You clearly spend. You know, sometimes you spend spend all your drip on like certain bits, Stop and then it. like don't buy a belt or <laughs> sorry, yeah. jean, yeah, paint splats. Sorry, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's a lot of people that paid a lot of money to get out there. The common person was paying like three and a half bags to get out there. I saw one woman, it was on just like on the newspaper. She was upset because she wore her one love bucket hat to the stadium. Okay. And they wouldn't let her in. Right. You flew halfway across the world. Is she yeah. from England? She English. Yeah. yeah. See You knew you knew. It's that ignorance. They told you beforehand. It's that ignorance. So it's that, like, it's the arrogance. It. There is like a traditionally Brits aren't great abroad, whether that's like Yeah being drunk and disorderly or even if you made an example about um Dubai like people have been arrested for having sex on the beach and yeah. it's like public nuisance indecency type of behaviour is this not saying because obviously this is like when you talk about someone's identity and, and stuff in regards to their sexuality but is this a little bit extended version of like 
I'm from a certain place. You can't tell me what to do. I'm going to do what I want to do regardless yeah. of where I am. Yeah. Because, again, on a normal day, how much do you care about these causes? When was the last time you donated? When was the last time you signed oh, a petition? We don't know all these people. Like, they, no, like, no, no, no. Of course, their life. you won't know. But I think it's safe to say, and it's been proven time and time again, a lot of people don't care about the causes that they go up for. Yeah. I think, like, more and more what happens is now is the what about is, and so it's like, well, you can't say this because your country's doing this. Or, yeah. So it's like, everyone has ways of, like, silencing people, but... There are the people, if you are part of the community, have legit reasons to be upset. I hear you, but how do you kind of navigate that? And to what cost? Because everyone's going to say, yeah, we don't care enough. But if I didn't go and protest and lose all my livelihood, all my peas, like, we only have one, one Muhammad Ali. Like, there's those people that are iconic. Like, you're not going to have that. I know it sounds crazy. It yeah. may never have that impact. I and mean, all you just be out here is jobless, no peas, and everyone's still going to be on you anyway. Are oh, you dumb anyway? You don't have the support of your community. Yeah. Look at that. Even the fact that we not on like one accord in regards to this conversation shows that I'm not mad at some people where like the money can sway you because if you're offering me peas that I've never ever had Seen before in my life, yeah. morals might go out the window <laughs> or I might put them on the ledge I want to throw them yeah. all out the window they're getting air just on the window like they're cooling down a little bit cool down yeah cool your morals down a little bit <laughs> that's what it might be Fair and enough. I'm, I'm not yeah. mad at them but that imagery of Alex Scott wearing the armband the dress. Like, I didn't even see it so bro, that's right, right, ridiculous because it was literally like, yeah, Harry Kane's gonna wear this one love armband, you know. They're gonna have because everyone's like talking about okay, how are they gonna protest? Because Gary Lineker said the thing. Is the that what they were? Is is that the armband that they wear in the Premier League? I'm not sure. It might be. I think they've been wearing like it's not. I think it's a new armband, isn't it? Because I, like I, I did see them wear that um, that armband during like one, Pride yeah. um, month. Yeah, I believe. Yeah, but um, I di- I didn't know it was like a continuous thing. Yeah. I didn't. I, did, I didn't. Um, see it but vibes in it um i it's don't know man yeah like at the mo- at this present moment in time the football's on now so i guess it just shows bro everyone everyone's kind of like bro just let's get to the football we can deal with the politics later bro do you know what i'm saying like and um i think there's only one game that i haven't watched okay um i think it is wavered man, man we've got ball on from like 10 in the morning to like yep. So it should be like eight, nine yeah. So nine. yeah, the last kickoff um, is at seven o'clock. Love and hip hop can wait. Yeah, <laughs> so I, watch that show. I mean, this is like um, group stages, isn't it? Like, and then after maybe next week, I think you get into the last sixteen. We enjoy it, bro. Like, if you're if that's Saudi, where Saudi like, Arabia, all the little, all the all the little other nations like can fall back yeah, in, the, yeah. in the in the last sixteen. Yeah, A lot of upsets today, Argentina, bro. But for me, that's not an upset, bro. I knew I was gonna choke. I just, have no, nah, I, I just have no faith in them, bro. It's, it's the biggest upset in in probably in World Cup history. Saudi Arabia, bro. No, we can go. We can go back. There's been some. I'm sure there's been some big upsets. What was he? Who to, who, to who Messi's be, Argentina? Bro, Messi Argentina means nothing to me because they've not done nothing on on this stage. Messi Argentina means nothing to me because every time they get there, they're like they beat Nigeria. They knocked out Nigeria in the last it's one. Not really hard, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, and what do they get for that? Then they bop their box. Our brown brothers, what happened? Yeah, they got it back no. in blood for us. They, no. they two wear green. Bro, Maradona took blood. mad coke that game. <laughs> that <laughs> game, he took mad coke. Bro, look at Maradona, like, you know what? I've never wanted to try drugs, but whatever you're on, I want to be on that. <laughs> whatever you're on, I'm on, Fam, bro. Maradona he was, was brazen with it. And then he was having a whale of a yeah, time. Fam, like, there's so mad was coke on the glass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's mad coke on the glass. in the clouds. Oh you know, hey, some people just got to leave them like we know what you're on so why are you hiding it bro just yeah. leave them do you devices, in it like I'm not yeah. encouraging the kids to do coke but clearly he can manage that in it so uh, like, the Maradona movie though by the way is crazy dope okay I'll check it out um, but yeah man like I'm, I'm enjoying it so far yeah. um, obviously like I want England to do well they've got um, a good side I'm not too sure I'm not I'm not pro that the Manager Southgate. They're going to get smoked, bro. Just enjoy but these few games. I like the players hopefully, that they have. Hopefully, they win three out of three. Quarter final, semi final, we'll really see because that defense is still shaky. It showed, bro. Maguire. I don't rate him, bro. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know. Yeah. Favoritism, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. the pair of you, who were your three standout players from the match? Saka, Bellingham. Yep. Uh, um. Would you say Saka Bellingham as well? Saka Bellingham, I'd yeah, two, of course. I'd say two. I wouldn't even say three. Um, okay. Sterling had a, um, a a good game, I think. Kane, he was 
he didn't score, but he was setting up his I his found guys. that hilarious because they if if they could have him out there now still yeah. playing, they'll do whatever they could do to make sure he gets a goal. Cause, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because when you're a striker, if this team scores six and you don't score, you're the you're yeah, you're exactly. the main marksman basically. Yeah. Like you should be on a score sheet, but you know. Yeah, I was happy for Sterling. Yeah, no, that's cool. Sterling, MFC, I was, Sterling, I was I was speaking to a colleague about today. Like he, he's the young OG, he's still twenty seven, bro. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? You'd like, be doubting him. It's still like, should he be in the squad? Shouldn't he? Nah, he should be. Like he's he's um, especially like the young crop of players. Like they look at him, like as the one to 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 go to for advice because he's done it all. He's won it. Like he's what five Premier Leagues, more uh, uh, more than a hundred Premier League goals. Like he's, that's cute. No, no, that's cute. That's me being drinking. That's cool, but that doesn't speak to the football you're playing on the pitch for England currently in regards to <coughs> four minutes. So obviously he scored the other day, but like all the stuff you're talking about is stuff you can do if you want to be a cheerleader. He played right? he played an integral part in England um surge to the final and at the Euros. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so, we do, so like I, I don't I don't um really criticize Sterling's contributions for England. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? Like um because I know if, I the hype is not on Kane him for that time he didn't square it to him. Yeah, and the hype is not on I, I will, you I you mark it down. Never bro. Mark my word. The, the, and and the hype coming into the World Cup is never on Sterling, so like I I, I could never criticize him because um, the hype goes to Harry Kane, and yeah. he don't he doesn't necessarily come out of tournaments being an outstanding player. Yeah, I'm only just saying that just because there's been talk around him. Obviously, club form hasn't been great now that he's at Chelsea. So at Chelsea, he's, he's number one. Potter's playing in the wrong position, wing back. Yeah. He's not a wing back. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I'm with you. So we support Sterling here. Yeah. I, don't let don't I, let this get misconstrued in it. So. No, we su- yeah. black man yeah. appreciation. Yeah. God. The Donny was like, oh yeah, I didn't like how you moved to City. And I was like, I'll do the same. Fuck y'all. <laughs> <laughs> they forget they took him from QPR the same way City came, took him from Liverpool. Yeah. So football is football's a hilarious game. Yeah. It's a very dirty game because even then, all the stories are coming out Bro, of him. I'm a Liverpool fan like through and through, and yeah. so is the other Donny, but I I just knew he hated him. Because of the, uh, he's, he's huge. <laughs> I, was, I was like, nah, bro. It's funny, he's watching again. like, I just don't, there's something about him. Some, he's something black, about bro. Him. He's, say say it, say it, your chest. Yeah, nah, he's black. I've never liked him since he left. And I was yeah. like, okay. He's, he's not been the most Everyone's left. Yeah. Everyone's left. Yeah. yeah. Well, race, every, <laughs> everyone leaves, bro. Yeah, like, that's for winning. Like, yeah. like, what do you mean? Unless you're Carragher, like. <laughs> and you died. Yeah. <laughs> Are you right? I said, bury me at the cop Bear, end. <laughs> he's going to be buried at the cop end. Yeah. So you're going to be watching football over the next few weeks? Oh, absolutely. Every day through By like yourself, 10 to... With company? Um, no, this is something that I enjoy for myself. I mean... I'm not saying you know, it's impossible to enjoy it by yourself. I was just wondering, Good. like, you know... How you like set your room at the ambiance? What you need? No, when I'm working from home. Need, but can I just, I just like say something? There, Sorry. Football on. Interrupting black women. Okay. Wild. Crazy. Go on. Sorry. Take the floor. No, no, no. You started now. I thought you were finishing. So I just, you know, I was trying to, I was trying to flow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, you okay. failed. Anyways, as Saudi Arabia, yeah, yeah, were triumphant today. If you watch their goals. With Arab commentary, fam. It's yeah. the greatest thing, bro. Yeah. It's the greatest. I don't want to be an impersonation. <laughs> because, you. you know. Chill, 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 The current climate chill, online chill, is Chill, crazy. chill, no, no. chill, like, chill, like, chill, chill, it. chill, chill. But, like, but I was like, oh, how are they going to top Peter Drury? Like, That's nah, easy, bro. Bro, they did it. Yeah. They did it. Well, shout out to them, bro. It's just I've so seen tweets of people saying, yeah, we beat the infidels. Nah. You have to. The Argentina pro hella racism, bro. They ain't got no blacks in that team, bro. Sure, yeah. even Saudi did. Full whitewash. Yeah, mm. I can't support them on that one. Yeah, so you know, it's gonna. I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful, but at the same time, I just know how these things always go. We're like this with the England team, and we get to a certain point, and uh, bro, like the World Cup, last World Cup semi final, last um, major competition, Euros final. So maybe, but those things to me are like. We ain't never seen it, bro. Yeah, we haven't, and and it shows because Donny should have done what he needed to do, and he's like he's, we, he's, he's 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 going backwards in my opinion. We he's not because like the next was quick, bro. They got sm- they were getting smoked, bro. No, but I'm saying like in the major tournaments, yeah, they've achieved stuff that the golden era dons yeah, yeah. never achieved. Absolutely. So 
I don't see them going backwards because, like, um, yes, Iran isn't like you know the the best we team know, in the world. We don't go Iran for football. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? But like the depth that they had in their substitutions, it was like rah, it's like for like. Yeah, do you know what I'm saying? That's so, coming so on that, and scoring. Do you know what I'm saying? I want to see that. Do you know what is why, why I don't like my England? I guess what I'm saying. You see that composure for that goal. Yeah. Do that against like France, or Spain. Yeah, yeah, don't don't yeah, play yeah. against these dogs that yeah, like yeah, yeah. Slip, yeah. Guys. That, that, are, that it, before the game they're asking for your shirt. I'm mad. Yeah, I'm I'm mad optimistic in the fact that I'm like, all right, this is good for momentum. Yes, you should be beating them by this. Yeah, I'm I'm not like this is not impressive to me. This is what you should be doing. Absolutely. Do you know what I mean? But like, it's good for um, a lot of their confidence. Um, getting it out of the way. USA is the, the the next test. Like, we'll see what what goes on in it. Like, but. Um, I think they they do have a chance, man. Like today was exciting, but then the other two games during the day, both nil nils. It's, it's f- yeah, it's fun. Fun. You know, mm. I mean, it's also when the first game is cagey. People don't want to take too much. Denmark chances. versus Tunisia, yeah, like it meant a lot to the Tunisians. The first tackle, they celebrated. They were like they were beating their chest, and no, no. I was like, so rah! Like, they're, they're very passionate people. I was like, <laughs> 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 yalla, yalla, yalla. Brav, this was thirty seconds in. Bro, you, you have to, you have to yeah. get the crowd in here, bro. Yeah, you have to go on. Yeah, you never see African combinations. There's and chickens the fa- in the crowd. Someone yeah, got their true. face painted white. Yeah, it's true, it's <laughs> true. There's a herbalist true. in the corner. Yeah. Come on, it's man. You're out of line, but you're not wrong. Yeah. But you're out of line. Nah, it's true, I, though. I need, I need it to be authentic, innit? You know? Remember when it was in Fair South base. Africa, like, better Vuvuz Ellis. Yeah, yeah. Or, like, when, the, when, the, when it's like a Brazil game, yeah, you see the horniness in the cameraman. Yeah. They always yeah. pan into certain yeah. babies yeah. in the crowd. <laughs> 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 Yeah. And I just stay there. They're these, the Latin, guys, the Latina category. Six stepovers, yeah. I don't just got this camera on this, on this Latin baby. <laughs> they're in the Latina category, yeah, so yeah, 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 we know what their search history is looking like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's your search history looking like? Um, What's your category? The last thing that I googled was the World Cup fact. Hear you, yeah, no, because you just did that like, just as you was hearing it. I hear you, I hear you. But that was on the main browser, not on the incognito browser. Yeah, what's on the, what's the incognito browser saying? I don't have incognito. Okay. Oh, with your chest, yeah, yeah, fair enough. We, listen, we love a woman of compliment, wouldn't we? Hear it, innit? So, no. I mm. there's been a lot of going on. Do I want to get to um, the art of a good conversation, <coughs> interviewing skills, yeah, sitting with certain people? So, um, Peter Rosenberg, who's on Hot 97, mm. sat down recently with Kelly Rowland, yeah, I've forgotten another lady's name. Laura Styles, not Laura Styles. No, she was there with another black. Marseille lady. Martin. Marseille Martin. Oh, sorry, I did. That's what you're here for yeah, to fact check yeah, and keep yeah. me honest. Yeah. That's what I'm here for. Yeah, wow, keep my toes, isn't it? Are you right, man? <laughs> no. Step steady, nigga. I might have to pour out another drink. We'll pour another drink. Ah. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I. I don't know if I. I like you like this <laughs> on alcohol. Yeah, I hear it. She said, "Step steady, yeah. nigga." Nigga, rock. Nigga. Wow, that was. Pour. You're all right there. You poured bare juice, yeah, isn't it, bro? Yeah. <laughs> so back to where I was. Yeah. So yeah. the lady that's with Kelly Rowland. What's her name again? Marseille Martin. Marseille Martin. Mm. Yeah. Um, yeah. Not to the, the to the size that her, but <laughs> she sat there with Kelly Rowland having an interview. Of course, I didn't watch the whole interview. Just a clip that when um, Peter Rosenberg is asking her about being the guy next to the guy. Yeah. And how that kind of feels. Oh. And, um, yeah. What that's. I like heard about and, that. Did you see the clip I'm talking yeah, about? Yeah, yeah. When you watched it, how did you feel? What were your thoughts? I felt like it was a very weak line of questioning from him, from him because this is not his. This is not his. <laughs> right? <laughs> this is asking, do I want tequila? I do not. <laughs> I'm about to have a serious topic about black women in the entertainment industry. Fair I don't need any more juice. Fair right? enough. Let me Look put that. this down. Yes. I did. Love that. Um, this is not your first interview. This is yeah. not the first time that you've hi- um, interviewed high profile. <laughs> A high profile celebrity mm. And In my opinion It was just very weak You went for the very Obvious line of questioning Yeah And There is no At this point Beyonce's Superstardom Yeah That's not even something That we Whether you're a fan of her As an individual or not That's not something We have to question anymore Beyonce's Certified in whatever yeah, It is yeah. she's doing Why on earth Did you feel the need To It's not even like Your because it's very difficult to talk about Kelly without Beyonce. That's a fact. They were in one of the thank you, one of the biggest girl groups in the world. Fine, but why did you make your line of questioning about the fact that you feel that Kelly is playing second fiddle to Beyonce? 
it just felt like a very cheap shot and a way to bring Beyonce into the conversation somehow and make her the center point. And to that's not like what we what I wonder is what was he trying to gain out of that interview? What it what was it that you were actually trying maybe to find get out? a viral moment? Maybe possibly get some pull the veil back a little bit. But if you know, I blame Drake. <laughs> but the thing is. If you we'll, get back, we'll do the Dave Chappelle thing, we'll get back to it. Yeah. About why you blame Drake. If you're honest, if you know anything about their relationship, yeah. you know that that's not something Kelly's going to do. Of course. Yeah. Whether someone, like, it won't be the first time that she's had someone try to. It's not the first time she's going to be in an interview and Beyonce's going to come up. Exactly. Whether it's that question, if Kelly Rowland has an interview, there'll be a reference to Beyonce at some point. At some she's point. She's not going to be surprised by exactly. that. Exactly. I'll move you. And it's not going to be a surprise. So. If you had done your research and you understand the cut, what we know of their relationship, yeah. you would have known that she was never going to answer the question in the Maybe way that's going to get you that moment that you're looking for. So was this, in a way, trying to humble her? Why are you so pressed about humbling black women? You've got someone here who, in their own right, has more accomplishments than the average person could genuinely ever dream of. Yeah. Why do you then have to talk about those in comparison to someone else's? And the point that he's made... Um, in terms of Beyonce being one the biggest superstar in the world at the moment, that's fine. We know that. Are you also going to tell us that water is wet and the sky is blue and you're a jackass? Like, no. Like, mm. you're stating the obvious here. To what end? What were you trying to do? Yeah. I'm, I don't know. If, of course, I want to make sure I'm on the right side. I'm on code. <laughs> but, okay. like, when I look at it from a point of view of asking questions, interviewing, he could just be a bad conversationalist. He could yeah. be a bad interviewer. Um, also maybe going for maybe lack of preparation yeah. and just going for something obvious something that he feels the fans want to hear as much as it is a, com- a, a question or a conversation probably had loads of times his ego might be playing a part in mind maybe yeah. I'm the person that's going to get a moment maybe not a negative moment maybe yeah. just an honest moment because as much as yes it has been probably asked loads or something that a lot of people would think it is a legitimate question to yeah. ask maybe she's been asked too much but what does it feel like to be the person next to the person because people have legitimate feelings now. Yeah. In other settings, maybe someone not as accomplished or in groups where we had, we know there's trouble and strife. We don't know there to be a lot of trouble and strife in Destiny's Child yeah. at the point when it was Kelly, Beyonce, and Michelle, maybe yeah. early years with different people. But at that point, we don't know. Who's to say that I had arguments or fallouts? Maybe in 20, 30, 40 years' time, we get the film and we get the yeah. Lifetime documentary and maybe weren't as close as presented. And yeah. that wouldn't be far fetched because groups, people fall out in it. So maybe. He was trying to go for that, but that's me cutting in maybe too much slack. Way too, there's, you can ask one question a million ways. Like, you know, it's because you know, he asked it twice and didn't leave it alone. That's where I'm with you on that side of like, why are you trying to keep rehashing? And, and she politely corrected him and like, yeah. I am my own person and I'm a light also. And like, most artists haven't got a Beyonce accomplishment, so yeah. And again, yeah. I don't, I don't feel like that's something that Kelly is salty about. And what you were saying before about him doing his research. Yeah. Like it felt sloppy to me because there's a song that Kelly Rowland did. did over there? Yeah. yeah okay. There's a Kelly a song Kelly Rowland did a couple like years ago now. It was called Dirty Laundry, I think. Okay. And she was talking about just literally all of this and the oh, fact really? that okay. like she like uh like my sis is on stage killing it like a motherfucker and I'm feeling it like a motherfucker. Oh, so she has addressed it. She she is yeah. fully so she's addressed so she's it. She's got before. a little hate in there. She's no, got she's, she's addressed video it. Video and she's crying and shit. Like it's not it's not new and that's why I'm saying I want, like, I, want, I want you to say it on 4K on my YouTube channel so I can get all these hits. <laughs> <your face> <laughs> but if he, had, if he had taken his time to do his research like he could have even gone down the line of you know Beyonce's Beyonce fine. If you feel like you need to get this off and you just have to say it fine. It would have been in my opinion a lot more productive if he had taken the route of in your song in whatever 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 we got like so a I'm really rare in- you, Exactly yeah. we got a really rare insight into you know, like you and B present as having this amazing relationship. We know that your sisters, blah blah blah. In this song, we got a really rare insight into X, Y, and Z. Tell us a bit more about that. You would have still been able to find out what you were trying to find out, but you would have had some fucking decorum about it, and actually had, like, had a purpose to what it was you were asking, rather than trying to put another black. First of all, pit one black woman against another, but it also felt like he was trying to put her down in the same thing. Like, oh, you were always second fiddle to Beyonce, but. As m- you can look at it from that perspective. She really made an interesting point. Like people are only looking at it from one perspective. Like, oh, you're Kelly. Like you're friends with Beyonce, and she's the biggest star in the world. Yeah. But Beyonce is also friends with Kelly, who is 
one of the biggest stars in the world. It goes both ways. Is and that the case? Or is that us doing the <laughs> oversupply? <laughs>